No longer just a civil war, the Syrian conflict has drawn in five great powers, all with their own goals to achieve and rivalries to maneuver. One of the first to be directly involved in the conflict, Iran is siding with the Assad regime. Estimates put Iran's support of Assad at between six to 30 billion dollars a year. Analysts say Iran's military footprint in Syria comprises dozens of commanders, several thousand troops, and thousands of Shia fighters from the Middle East and beyond. Led by General Qasem Soleimani, Iran's Quds Force, which handles foreign military operations, is leading the charge. And it's Iran's presence so close to its borders that has prompted Israeli warplanes to strike. No longer content on being a bystander, Israel is now jockeying to consolidate its strategic position. Since 2013, it has launched more than 60 airstrikes in Syria. Israeli jets bombed Iranian and regime targets on February 10th after what Tel Aviv said was the infiltration of an Iranian UAV into its territory. Israel lost a fighter jet during its retaliatory airstrikes. Israel is not the only one to have lost an aircraft in recent weeks. Russia had one of its fighters shot down over Syria's Idlib on February 3rd. Its military intervention in Syria started in 2015 when Russian fighters began operating out of the Kamim Air Base. Altogether, Moscow has three military bases in Syria. On the face of it, Russia says it fully backs the Assad regime, but analysts believe it has long-term plans of establishing a permanent military footprint in the Middle East to directly challenge the U.S. Long on the sidelines of the Syrian war, the U.S. began stepping up its involvement in 2014 to counter Daesh. To help battle the terrorist group, the U.S. turned to the YPG, an affiliate of the PKK, who has waged a deadly war against Turkey for decades. Providing billions of dollars in military equipment, training and air support, the YPG was able to make rapid gains in northern Syria. This has caused concern in Ankara. Turkey has borne the brunt of the fallout from the Syrian war, having endured rocket attacks from terrorists operating inside Syria to hosting more than 3.5 million refugees. Through Operation Euphrates Shield, launched in 2016, Turkey led the way to clear northern Syria of Daesh. Having pushed the terror group out of towns like Jerablus to allow the return of refugees, Turkey is trying to emulate that success in Afrin, where the U.S. armed YPG terror group is dug in. Ankara says it plans to expand its operations further, which could put on a crash course against U.S. troops in Manbij. Syria has become a battleground where old allies and sworn enemies could all be facing off against each other. The country's future may be decided by how much these great powers cooperate or clash. James Kim, Straight Talk.